It's nearly been a year since we've been here at Luff Engineering MTD CNC. Now, Jason, it's been quite a journey with the uh, the Grob, a, a fantastic machine, a big investment. Um, but recently, you had a slight issue with it. But the Grob guys, Grob UK, really helped you out. Could you explain how? Yeah, very much. Um, we uh, bought the remote diagnostic uh, connection, um, which I, I didn't I didn't have initially. Uh, until it was explained to me what, what that gave me access to. Um, had a minor issue, spoke to Adam, uh, the, the, the Grob service manager in the morning. He got Germany to contact me in the afternoon. Uh, they took over control of the machine uh, and, it, and it was repaired within a couple of hours. I think the internet's quite a powerful uh, uh, thing, isn't it, really, in our journey with keeping that spindle going. But when you look at some of the um, parts that you're actually machining here, uh, I presume it's very key for a company like yourself to make sure that spin, spindle is turning as much as possible. Oh, absolutely! It's um, it's become a very key machine for, for us here, um, and uh, yeah, to keep it running, it is very important. Um, and like I say, initially I didn't understand what I was getting with the remote diagnostics, um, but when they explained it to me, it, it really is a, a, almost a must-have if you're going to have a, a machine like a Grob. And does it give you peace of mind going f further into the journey with Grob? Definitely, yes, yeah. Um, the fact that uh, you get contacted by the, uh, a manufacturer of the machine who understand it obviously better than anybody else, to have that uh, access 24 hours a day is uh, yeah, it, it, it's, it's priceless. I'm Adam Cope, I'm the service manager for Grub UK and I'm the first point of contact for the machine remote diagnostics. And some might say one of the most important person within uh, the, the Grob organisation, because these guys, you know, especially Luff Engineering, they've spent a lot of money, a lot of time, you know, justifying such a machine. And, and recently, they just had a very minor problem that you fixed remotely. Can you explain how you help them? Yeah, um, with our remote service, it's an essential service. The machine is networked. Uh, each machine in the UK is supplied with a Moros router, allowing the machine to connect to the internet, and then via VPN we can dial onto the machine and see firsthand what, what the customer's problem is, look at their messages and alarms, etc. And when you look at the first point of contact yourself, I presume that you've got the might of Germany Mindelheim to help you with, obviously, if they've got different sort of operating systems? Yeah, we, we look at solving the problem ourselves first. Um, we have guys in the office who are ex-service engineers on the road, so we have a, a good resource in the office. Uh, all of our engineers on the road also have remote access from their notebooks so we can contact any of our guys at a different customer saying can you please just dial in and look for us. Failing that we then escalate it to Germany. Um, Germany have got the might of over 4,000 people so the people on their remote uh, hotline service are experts in each field so in this case uh, a Heidenhain expert was straight on to Jason as soon as possible. And I suppose, uh, you know, from your point of view, you know, to, to justify these type of machines, you know, the, these spindles have got to be working 24-7 to a certain extent, and that's what you're there to fix, isn't it? Yeah, it's essential the machine's up and running as soon as possible, so it, it really is an essential tool to get it going as, as soon as we can. And when you look at, uh, you know, the sort of last couple of years that we've been involved with, you know, that, that, dare I say, COVID, I, I presume your job's been quite busy, isn't it? Yeah, it's been awkward times and we've had engineers isolating, engineers in quarantine, uh, engineers off ill. So obviously being having the remote service uh, and any one of us being able to connect to customer remotely, like I said, it's, it's essential. And I suppose from Jason's point of view, it was a big investment to take the machine on board, but maybe an extra step too far initially uh, for, for the uh, remote machine diagnosis system. But it's really paining back now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. All of our services are free within the first uh, warranty, well, the warranty period of the machine. So all the services are free then. And after that, in this case, it's a subscription, a uh, yearly subscription. So if an engineer comes out to look at a, a simple fix and it's, it's half a day, um, that's already cost you more than the remote connection for the year. So it's definitely worth having. Well, I think so. I mean, looking at some of the components that Jason actually uh, producing now, you know, not only uh, actually making him more money because obviously uh, the type of machine, you know, simultaneous five axes is giving him, but he's also winning a lot more workers, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's uh, off the back of this, he's, he's getting inquiries, which is it's good for all of us, yeah.